hello guys welcome to today's video by trust Alian. this is a ts tech talks video on today's video guys i'm going to show you how to live stream on GoStream application so um i'm going to be live streaming direct to my facebook page and um in order to do that let's dive in um if you already have this application it's called GoStream. if you do not have it just go over to the android play store and download it and we are going to be making use of the free version so once you have it downloaded right now go ahead and click on the application to open it it's going to take a while all right now it has opened and there are different options for us um, to live stream on this particular device all you need to do is to click um, on automatic live stream there is no other option apart from automatic live stream on your mobile device so what this actually means um, is actually a live stream automatically on a scheduled base let me show you guys how it works I'm going to click on the automatic live stream to start live streaming now the first option is to start live streaming from a link when you click on this first option right there you can go ahead and include a youtube video and or a facebook um, video or a go stream video so um all you need to do is to click on add and then add a title and then put um, a hashtag so let me go ahead and go over to youtube um, application and then i'm going to go over to my channel wait for it to load so i'm going to go over to my videos i'm going to click on the most recent video which is a short video i'm going to click on share and i'm going to copy the link so i'm going to come right here and then i'm going to tap on that area click and hold and then paste that particular link and then click on add wait for it actually i'm not supposed to add this um i'm not supposed to add this link right there i supposed to delete this area that has share just as this and then hit enter this should work wait for it make sure you have everything deleted from the behind so you notice it says um video from youtube now one video has been added let me add even more video so i'm going to click on this area again click on share copy link and then come right back and then paste the video also so um i'm going to delete the back from the share and then stop on the question mark and then click on add automatically that question mark is going to be removed but normally you should remove the question mark but because it's not part of the video so right now i have two different videos right there with um a title that says youtube video so um i can go ahead and change the title to um whatever title i want so i'm going to call this um subway live stream and then i'm going to click on next because i already added it so um you can go ahead and um and add your logo but that is if you are actually making use of um a paid version but since i'm making use of the free version i do not have option to enter all of these and then if you click advanced you can notice it also give you an option to select loop or to just say no loop loop actually means your video keep playing and playing and playing it's actually going to trick people that you are currently online but actually you are not online so if you want that just go ahead and click on infinite loop they will keep looping but if you want it to loop like three times so the video the two videos are going to play like three times before the end but if you want it to be infinite loop just select infinite loop and then the resolution is going to be on 480 pixel like you remember the free version is going to be on 480 pixel and then on this server you can go ahead and select any server that you want um there are different server right here but i'm just going to leave this on auto and also guys this is the first time i'm doing this so i'm going to click on apply and then i'm going to click on forward to go to the next page so if i want it to be posted now or to be published now or to start the live stream now i can choose this action but if not i can select a particular time that i want it to be published does it's scheduling it so you select the exact time and then come over here and select the exact date this is on saturday so i can say on sunday and then click ok and then finally we are going to add our destination right here our destination probably going to be um other 
um, social media accounts. But since I'm not currently logged into any account, I will have to add an account. You notice it says um, select an account. The reason why this is blank is because I've not logged in anywhere. So I'm going to click on add an account and I'm going to click on Facebook to add my Facebook account. So it's going to automatically authenticate the logged in Facebook account. And then I will have to click on this continue to continue or to confirm that I want to continue with this request. I'm giving these people access to um, access my Facebook and these are all they are going to have to access. They will like to access my, um, the content I post on my timeline and then um, some other things. Go ahead and read about them and read on the bottom area and go ahead and read even more um, reason why they will be accepting this request. So I'm going to click on continue so that the video would not be delayed too much. So it's going to take a while to load and then you notice the account has been logged in right now. So that is fine. Um, if you want to add your YouTube, click on this other area and then choose the YouTube icon that you want to add and then choose um, the YouTube um, link and then or if you want to make use of Twitch, select Twitch and it will be displayed. So for some reason, I'm not interested in uploading on any of those platforms. So I'm going to back out and back out even more. So I'm going to click on this destination once more. Currently is displaying on my personal profile, but I actually wanted to publish on my um, Facebook page. Now you notice this area where it says target. Go ahead and click on that particular option. Now these are going to display the list, the list of Facebook groups and the Facebook pages that I have on my account. So the Facebook group I wanted to live stream on is a gaming group, which is actually called GamePath. So I'm going to choose that particular application. I'm going to give the video a title once more. So I'm going to call it um, All right, and I'm going to click OK. And then under this notes area, this is actually going to be a caption. And I'm going to say, what do you think? And then I'm going to add to stream. So once I click on add stream, it's going to automatically start the streaming whenever this time is ready. But if I actually want to start it right now, I can just click on right now to start streaming right now. But I do not want to make use of that option. So I'm going to click on next right now. Um, choose a time. Oh, I forgot to select the time. All right. Um, I'm going to choose this exact time. The current time right now when I chose this video is currently for... Um, 59 although it passed three minutes already so i'm going to click on okay to okay that and and i'm going to click on next and uh, you notice my live stream has been created and it has been scheduled and you notice on this area it says live stream has been scheduled so whenever i want to stop the live stream i can always come and click right here to stop streaming which is what i have to do and then let me go back also guys so i'm going to click on that automatic to show you guys even more so there are even more ways to live stream like you can live stream from a video you already created like a video on my device i can click on upload a video and it will be uploading a video to this particular platform there is an option to upload so i'm going to click on upload on the top right area which is going to display my device storage um wait for it it's going to take a while to load Okay, the upload is ready and all I need to do right now is to tap on the upload button and it says this feature, um, this feature not apply for free version, please upgrade your version. Oh, that is so sad. Okay, this particular feature doesn't allow me to live stream by uploading the video for some reason. I did not know this is not for free version. So this particular application have a lot of unique options that you can make use of if you really want to live stream in a unique way. So um, if though I uploaded my video, I will be able to be live streaming even when I'm not currently live. So all I needed to be doing is to be replying to message on my live stream by making use of my Facebook um, creator studio. Like um, this is my Facebook creator studio right there. Facebook creator stu um, Facebook suit. So um, either I make use of this Facebook suit to manage the account or I make use of the Facebook creator studio or make use of the Facebook gaming. So whenever I'm live, it's going to display right there. I can manage my account and manage the charts coming in making use of this particular um, platform. Let me switch over to the account right there so that you guys will get exactly what I mean 
but since i'm not currently live streaming is not going to be displaying those information like right now there is no recent posts that i've made that's the reason why you're not seeing any um posts right there but if i'm currently live live streaming a video is going to be displaying around this area on the home page and also on the post section is going to be displaying live and when i click on the live i can be seeing the comments the activities and i can easily reply and respond to that but for some reason it's not displaying right now because i'm not live so um when you click on this top area right there you can click on live and it's going to display your um, previous live video and if there is an active live video you are going to see it displayed here also and also when you are live you also see that displaying on your gaming center on your facebook gaming so guys this is all i want to show you guys on how to live stream on go um go stream application which is very unique and also guys um you can also come over to the package to um, upgrade your package currently we are running on the free package and there is also basic and you can go ahead and read more about those particular packages before joining or before accepting them so guys if this video is helpful smash like and subscribe to the channel for even more video if you have any question please leave that on the comment section i'm going to see you on my next video please stay safe and peace